Good morning, guys. How are you all doing? Welcome back to another vlog on Relations Corner. Obviously, this morning I am yet to step out of the house. I just woke up and I feel I should open this vlog officially because I don't think there's there will be any time to do that anymore. So, guys, today is my son's school end of term activity, closing mass and graduation and all that. And definitely, you know, I'll carry you guys along. Then, in my previous vlog, about two, three vlogs back i told you i wanted to attend a meeting in my son's school so in that particular meeting i was nominated and voted in as a vice chairman of the pta executive of my son's school so in this vlog that you'll be watching right now you see us being decorated and assume office then during the mass we'll be called on to pray for so that we can have a successful tenure in office so guys let's get a popcorn your coke and let's go on this churning. The next clip will be in my son's school, okay? <laughs>
us now for Jesus. Today's is called a Thanksgiving Mass. So, and for the parents, if you look around, you will see that the children are well prepared. In fact, you have seen what they are doing, reading, singing, dancing. And this helps us to know that to bring up a man, to raise up a responsible woman, it's a collective responsibility. The teachers will do their own, the parents will do their own. And that is why today's reading helps us to understand what it means to be thankful, what it means to give praise to God in the first uh, reading from Ecclesiastes. And the gospel helps us also to know that God is always there to answer our prayers when we ask. But the question is, what do you ask for as parents when you are talking about your children? What do you ask for? And what do you search for? What do you knock for? In most of us, when we are looking for something for our children, we go different places. Instead of us to focus on God and, help, and ask God to help us to raise these children. These children are for us signs of hope, signs and symbols of goodness and joy. They will never turn to sorrow in Jesus' name.